From the first kick, I snap into action. When I'm digging in the trenches, get dominated off the line of scrimmage. Read and react quick to make an early diagnosis. Hit you with a quick release like Marino Danny Dopeness. Explosive change of direction in the true essence of Reggie Bush. From JT and ZT to DVP and AVG. Terminator to a quarterback, Hunter JP. Steve Ross, the boss, King Flo, and card slinging, gambling genius, slick Chris Greer. Yo, what's going on, football heads worldwide? Let's get this thing going. All right, he was the circle. He does a little faking blocking and then uh, goes out. Uh, good box out right there. Once again here, he's gonna show his change of direction to think on the fly and uh, sit down in the open zone, even if he's not open at first, number 80 here. He's gonna see his quarterback going to scrabble mode and then he's gonna cut back for him. Right there, nice open lane to throw into. Big body uh, target. Um, once again here, it's kind of like a scramble mode and Jerkovic just kind of threw it up and the veteran move to put his hands on the uh, deep back and create separation. Here's kind of a jerk route here into the end zone he runs here. Love how he sells, he's going outside and then cuts it back inside. Good job. He's gonna be good at the next level. Here's just a quick out route. Quick out into the flat, whatever you wanna call it. Flat. Um, he's got nice hands for being a big target. Um, good catch radius. Um, he does a really good job of finding the weak spots in a defense. See, look right here, he just sits down after like doing some inline blocking and then getting out there too. And then look, he actually knows how to run with it as well. Um, he puts it in the end zone right there. That should be a touchdown. <clears throat> Excuse me. Give me some elbow space. Not He's elbow somewhat space. of a red zone weapon as well. Uh, like we I said, with his big body, it's just another that big target for Tua to throw in to throw to, um, which will help our offense immensely. He's more of a traditional tight end than someone like Mike Gusecki, who's just a glorified wide receiver. I love how he starts inside out here. That's a double block right here. You'll see he's the one with his elbows up always, pretty much. Right, inside, a fan block, then back outside, then inside again. It all worked out for a TD there. Right here to the stretch, but he seals his man off. See, so he sells that stretch right there. Great block. He even got dropped to his knees, but still held on long enough for the guy to get into the end zone. I broke it down right here. You can see how he sells the stretch to go with the line, his first steps to his right, and then he cuts back to seal off his man to the outside. Um, he kind of trips and falls over his feet a little bit there in the defensive end or the edge rusher right there could have made bigger impact on the play. Okay, this is great right here. He sells this real good to the um, linebacker who's trying to cover him that he's going to go uh, on the crosser underneath him, but then automatically goes around him over top of him right here. That's advanced level right there. That's like a... 10-year veteran running the tight end right there. See how he sells it with his hips that he's going to go over underneath the guy for his crossing and then goes around him again and changes his hips. And the guy's doing everything he can to stay with him. You know, that's, that's good stuff. We'll see if he can get some of that done at the next level as well. Here's just a great block. A lot of this video, some of it you'll see is a lot of blocking, and that's good. I think we got one of the better blocking tight ends in the draft. See, so yeah, he puts his head down and just great paddling.